you have been looking for the best Mickey Donut recipe, then you came to the right place. You will need flour, sugar, butter, yeast, an egg, flavoring essence, and water. Let's get started. In a bowl, add flour, sugar, yeast, and stir everything to well combined. Make a well in the middle. I added the flavoring essence, added one egg, and a cup of lukewarm water. I added butter, and I will mix everything to well combined. You're going to mix this until it forms a dough. At first, it seems like it's not coming together, but please keep kneading. Don't be tempted to add more water because that's where the failure of this recipe is going to start from. Just follow my instructions, and I bet you have the best donuts. Sprinkle some flour on the work surface and knead the dough. If you have not gone to the gym recently, this is time for your arm workout. Just keep kneading the dough until it is smooth, stretchy, and nice, just like this. Transfer into an oiled plate and set aside. Get a parchment paper, cut them into sizes just like you can see me doing. This parchment paper makes it easy for you to fry your donut. It is very necessary in this recipe. Once you are done cutting, arrange them in a tray and sprinkle some flour on it. We are doing this to prevent the dough from sticking while we want to fry, okay? Remember, we don't have a kitchen scale, so bring out your knife, oil it, and cut it horizontally, vertically, any curly, just like you can see me doing, diagonally, anyone. But if you have a kitchen scale, just measure out 75 grams for your donut. Now get a segment of the dough. We are going to fold it in just like you can see me doing and pinch it at the bottom cut out the excess just like this and roll you want to seal up every part of this donut so that oil does not enter while frying Hope you are following you know? so let me give you this slower version so you understand what I'm saying take a segment of the dough keep folding it in fold it in until the top part is very smooth just like this now turn it and seal pinch and seal pinch and seal take off the excess do this for all your dough until you've exhausted the segments of the dough we cut earlier now you want to roll this roll into a fine ball shape make sure your hands are oiled while doing this once you are done set aside in a warm place or in an oven to proof for about an hour after that this is what we have If you have watched up to this point, please like, share and follow for more amazing recipes. Your oil should not be too hot, it should be at the right temperature. Proceed to fry the donuts on each side for about 5 minutes. Flip once it's golden brown just like this. After that, our donut is ready. Can you spot the beautiful white line? Mm -hmm. Somebody spare gorgeous because these donuts are so nice. They are so beautiful. Place on a paper towel to drain out excess oil. And guys, we are not done. Remember, we are making Mickey donuts. Once the donut has cooled down, you want to coat it with milk. Just like you can see me doing. I did that for all the donuts, guys. In one, two, three this is what we have this is what we have creamy beautiful donuts i just showed you how to make milky coated donuts now let's proceed to make the filling for our donuts this is a plus to this recipe and this is why you should subscribe to my youtube channel oh yeah hit the subscribe button no? mix together half cup of condensed milk and half cup of powdered milk once it's lump free transfer into a piping bag just like you can see me doing the full ingredients for this recipe will be in the description box please do well to check that out once we're done we are going to use a kitchen knife to poke holes into the donut just like this please don't fill your donut while it is hot make sure it has cooled down before you start filling cut out the tip of the piping bag place it inside the hole we created for the donut and fill it up with these simple steps our mickey donut is ready serve and enjoy with friends and families if you found this video helpful please do well to like share subscribe drop a comment don't forget to drop a review or a thank you if you'll be trying out this recipe